So, the the trip over here went sort of fine, I guess. I'm, I'm here anyway, so it it must count for something. Um, but there was some confusion when I had to change planes in Paris because Charles de Gaulle is a terrible airport. The, well, when I got there, uh, I got uh, the the plane wasn't even at a terminal or anything. We had to get on a bus, and it just left us at, at some very small terminal in the middle of nowhere, with no signs to where to go if you wanted to catch if you wanted to catch another flight uh, and stuff like that. So I had to ask five persons or something before I finally found out what I had to do. Um, yeah, at first I was uh, guided to, uh, I was told to to get my boarding pass at uh, the same place as people who were checking in thought, thought my luggage were getting theirs. And there was a terrible, terribly long line there. So I thought that I might just uh, look into if there was anything else I could do. And then I asked another a very helpful guy uh, working at Charles de Gaulle and he said, oh, you just have to go over there to that desk. And there was no line and I got my boarding pass within one minute instead of having to wait three hours, perhaps. Um, so that was very nice. And then a very weird thing, um, in Charles de Gaulle there are plenty of um, armed soldiers walking around I actually bumped into one uh, carrying a big machine gun, which was kind of scary, but she said, I'm sorry. So it was fine. <laughs> and yeah. Um, the plane from uh, Paris to New York was fine. Um, I was sitting next to, as I said, an American girl, and next to her was a, a French uh, guy who whose English wasn't that good, so um, he would sometimes just switch into uh, French because I had, well, it was stupid on me, but I, I had said that, well, I I knew, I know one sentence in, in French, and then he sort of assumed that, oh, then we must know more than that, but I don't. The only thing I can say is, je ne parle pas français, which means, I can't talk French. Yeah. Um, and then I got to JFK, um, and well, I had read there was a train there uh, which were connect connected to the subways. Then I went to this. Uh, yeah, uh, I, th I thought it was an information desk, but it was probably just some company or something. There was this Chinese guy who. Yeah, well, I asked him, uh, um, I heard there was this train that you could take to New York. And he said, no train, no train, you take taxi, very cheap. So I, th I think maybe the taxis were offering, you know, giving him some money to say that people should take the taxis. Because there was a train, which was kind of hard to find because the, the signs were leading to it weren't that good. But I found it after asking another, at another uh, information desk. Um, and it was fine, it connected me to, to a line that went straight to the, the closest metro station, to the YMCA hostel. So that was nice. Um, and I got here at around, yeah, what was it? 10, half past 10, local time, something like that. And yeah, I checked in and went straight to bed. Perhaps I could just show you the room. It's not that big. Um, there is a, a bed. A TV, which doesn't really work. The antenna cable behind... Uh, the antenna cable behind it is sort of cut in half. An um, air condition system, which I love, even though it's... Well, it's sort of, it's sort of noisy. Uh, and a small desk and a chair and that's about it. Oh yeah, the YMCA guide to your personal safety in case of fire, which has this, uh, tells you what to do, but 
I don't really understand it because I don't think the pictures really match up with the words. It says, what to do if there's a fire? But the picture shows a man surprised that bacon is coming out of his room. And up here is a, is a woman crawling on the bacon, which is also very weird. So I don't really know what to do in case of a fire, but I'll just panic, I guess. That was it for now. Um, today I'm going to go sightseeing. Um, and yeah, probably also tomorrow. And I have to buy some stuff, uh, like a satin app and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I've planned out the next two days more or less, so that's fine. See ya!